Hi, I'm Oliver Sharp in the BioBuzz Center. I'm excited to be joined by Dr. Trevor Mundell, President of the Global Health Program of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Dr. Mundell, how are you? Very good. Good All to see you. All the better for being here at the Bio Conference. Thank you so much for joining us. I understand this is your first conference. Uh, tell me how you found it so far. Well, I've been meeting with uh, a number of uh, groups and people who start up biotech companies, exactly the kinds of technologies, ideas that we're looking for and that we're trying to access here at the Bio Conference. So, had some pretty exciting meetings so far. And in your position as president of the Global Health Program, uh, how do you feel the biotech industry uh, can help meet unmet needs in developing countries? You know, as I was telling the, the folks earlier today, in, in some ways people think that uh, in developing countries we need very simple solutions and we need to fix the delivery systems and all of that is actually true. Um, but in places where there's very poor infrastructure for delivering healthcare solutions, in some ways you need better technology. So you need a vaccine that works with a single shot. People can't come back all the time to get their vaccine. You need a vaccine that is stable in, you know, 90 degree heat, which vaccines over here can be stored in refrigerators easily, you don't need that. So in some ways, you need more technology, more innovation for some of the interventions that we want to use in developing countries. And we've overcome a lot of those needs. We still have a ways to go. How do you see some of the needs in developing uh, countries changing in the next decade? Well, you know, I think that there's, at, at one level, um, there's this entity called the Global Burden of Disease. It's an initiative that uh, we've been funding to really uh, get the right epidemiology of what are the diseases in various countries, particularly the countries that, that we're interested in. And they published a 2010 set of data at the end of last year. Coming out of that, a lot of people said, well, it looks like the world is really encountering a problem with non-communicable diseases. So metabolic disease, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, these are the big problems. And for many parts of the world, that's true. But if you look at the parts of the world that we're most interested in, the 70 poorest countries, Sub-Saharan Africa and a few countries in South Asia, it remains true that those countries are afflicted primarily by infectious disease. And some of those infectious diseases, tuberculosis, malaria, HIV AIDS, which are taken as not such a problem in developed countries, remain huge issues in that part of the world. So as we look forward over the next decade, minimally, we're going to be confronting those same infectious diseases which have been fixed other places but remain huge issues in the places where we work in. And it's World Immunization Week uh, going on right now. Uh, what achievements have we made in the realm of vaccines uh, collectively? Well, you know, the, the vaccine story is, is pretty amazing to my mind. Uh, vaccines are magical as a, an intervention. You know, you give a kid single shot or three shots in the um, EPI childhood vaccination program and for life they have protection against some of these terrible diseases. So, and for the developing countries, vaccines where you, there's no drug treatment, there's not access to great hospital care, vaccines are even more magical. So that's, that's been why we've been so focused on vaccine solutions. And I think with, um, you know, Gavi, which is this Global Alliance of Vaccines uh, initiative, to provide cost-effective vaccines for countries that have had difficulty affording really expensive vaccines has really changed the, the whole picture. So much so that we've you know, upped the stakes and we invested and supported very strongly the decade of vaccines. This is the immunization week, which just gets us to sort of focus even more so on vaccination, what's been accomplished. So we've been able to push coverage rates in many poor countries up to very decent levels, you know, 60, 70 percent. But the decade of vaccines and the action plan that they've developed. By 2020, we want to get those rates up to 90, 100%, what they are in the developed countries. They should be equal access. That's part of really our mission in terms of everybody should have this equal access to you know, a healthy, productive life. Getting vaccine rates up to near 100% for everybody is going to be the way to do that. It's going to save 20 million people who might otherwise have died of vaccine-preventable diseases by 2020. A lot of work still to be done until 2020. Yeah. Uh, you at the Gates Foundation have been celebrating some milestone achievements. Tell us about some of the events that have been taking place. Well, as you we speak, actually, we have uh, our co-chair, Bill Gates, is uh, in Abu Dhabi. It's the uh, vaccine summit that we put together around a couple of issues. One is just this general um, path forward for vaccination to get those vaccination rates up. And the folks talking about where we've come uh, with Gavi and with other funders and where we need to go 
More specifically, we are very excited about the eradication plan for polio. So it's been a tough haul with polio. We're into that last mile over here. And we have a plan which we think is going to be very effective. It's going to take us a couple of years still. And it's going to take substantial funding. We ourselves have committed 1.8 billion to get to that final milestone. So that's going to also be discussed in, in Abu Dhabi over the next two days. I think you'll hear quite a bit of this in the media. Well, Dr. Mundell, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for all the work that you continue to do with the Gates Foundation. Thank you all for joining us here at the BioBuzz Center.